This year at Computex, we checked out the Fantex suite and in the corner, there was something hiding. I guess I should explain what's going on here. I started filming this video about a month ago. This is the Fantex Enthu 2 Pro Server Edition. This case is designed for people who don't want a rack mount server, who want something that sits on the floor or on their desk. As you can see, the Enthu Pro 2 Server Edition is a large case and the day that I was filming this, I wasn't feeling in the mood to make this video. Basically anything that requires a lot of space. Something a little bit different. We're not gonna review the case in the normal way that we would because the hardware that I got for this hasn't arrived yet. I didn't wanna do you guys dirty, but the hardware has arrived now. And the day after filming this, I broke my rib. Now that we've got the hardware and I'm feeling a little bit better, it's time to do this video. But before that, this video is brought to you by VIPSEDKey.com. You install Windows and you see the watermark of death. You don't need to fork out a couple hundred dollars for a key, you can grab one from from today's video sponsor from VIPSEDKey.com for a tenth of the price and you can use our code GEAR to get 25% off. How good's that? That takes that already cheap Windows key and makes it even cheaper. You place your order, bingo bango, you've got your key on your orders page, you chuck that key into the activation screen and you're good to go. No more watermark of death. Use code GEAR for 25% off, link in the description. On with the video. Let's start off with panel removal. Each side panel has two captive thumb screws. Just loosen those thumb screws and then you pull the panel away from the case and then you can kind of jiggle it and lift it away. Same applies for the back side panel of the case as well. The case is also very light because it's made from very thin material. It's meant to be a bit more industrial. Pull that away from the case. The front panel can be removed as well. And to remove this, just grab the corner and give it a bit of a yank and then you can just work your way around and pull that front panel off. It's got a fabric mesh on the front, kind of like what we saw with the P600S from Fantex. On the front, there's a magnetic dust filter that can be removed from the front of the case. There's also a magnetic dust filter on the top of the case and both of the side panels that I just removed also have dust filters. So there are four magnetic dust filters in total and then one for the power supply. You'll notice there are these two other brackets inside the case. One is a fan bracket. So you can install up to three 120 mil fans on this bracket. We'll come back and talk about all the fan support. And then there's also a GPU support bracket because as I mentioned in the intro of this video, this case is really designed for things with multiple GPU uses, machine learning, AI, all that kind of jazz. The side bracket has four pre-installed GPU support brackets, which can all be slid up and down just by loosening the screws on the outside edge. Three positions with a GPU support bracket. You've got the front position, the middle position, and then the back position, I suppose it would be. So this fan bracket that we removed a little bit earlier can be installed in its default location here, as well as, this is really cool guys, get this right. If you wanted to rotate this bracket and install it this way, you can also do that. So let's say you're building out a storage server and you need additional airflow to go across your drives. You can have your intake coming through the front and then you can have your exhaust going out over the rest of your hardware. The rear side of the case is fairly basic. What we're seeing here is there's a lot of cable management tie down points and a lot of holes for pass through. You have to remember this has 11 expansion slots. So the edge of your motherboard would sit somewhere here so you've got a lot of space for hiding cables and running cables up for storage, which kind of leads into the storage situation with the Enthu Pro 2 Server Edition. For storage, there is 11 2.5 inch SSD locations. You can see three are here. You can mount them to the other side of these and there's just assorted mounting points all through the case. Power supply support is basically unlimited. You've got no restriction on the size of power supply here. You do have to remember if you're installing drives all the way up the front of the case, you will reduce that size, but I haven't seen many power supplies that are that large. Not only that, it will support dual redundant power supplies in a regular ATX power supply form factor, which means if you're using this with a proper server motherboard that has dual power inputs, or you need extra power for a certain use case, you can do dual redundant power supplies in this as well. On the top, we can do up to a 360 mil radiator or three 120 mil fans or three 140 mil fans. 
but a 420 rad won't fit up the top. On the front of the case, we can do four 120 mil fans or three 140 mil fans. You can do up to a 480 mil radiator or a 420 mil radiator up there as well. This case will take up to 15 fans in total. There is just a lot of room for activities with this thing. It's insane. For motherboard support, you can go from ITX. I don't know why you'd put an ITX board in this all the way up to SSIEB and XLATX. Essentially, if there's a motherboard that exists, it's probably gonna fit in this case. And while we're on the topic of that, for maximum air cooler clearance, so this measurement this way, 195 millimeters. You're not gonna have many problems with getting big air coolers in here. For GPU support, <laughs> this is gonna look ridiculous, 503 mils. Even this massive 4080 looks tiny compared to the rest of this case. So let's just say the GPU clearance is infinite. For front panel case wiring, there's two USB 3.2 type A front panel connectors. There's all the connections for all your lights and your switches to turn your system on. There's also a front panel audio connector as well as a USB type C front panel connector. On the front panel, we've got four USB 3.2 type A ports a USB Type-C port, a reset button, which is also a combined hard disk activity light. There's a front panel audio connector, which is a combined headphone and microphone jack. And on the top of the case, there's a power button, which is also a combined power light. That's everything I think you need to know about the Fantex Anthu Pro 2 Server Edition. The difference with this case is there's so much going on that the only way to show you what this is somewhat capable of, I don't have multiple GPUs to go in here, but Let's do a build, we'll test the thermals, and I'll let you know what the deal is. We will be going Sapphire Rapids for this build, and this PC that's going to be built in here is going to be for a series of videos you guys are going to see start to pop up soon. Strap yourself in. Let's build a crazy workstation.
take a look at the thermals of the Fantex Enthu 2 Pro Server Edition. What you're seeing on your screen right now is the thermals are absolutely excellent. The reason why I put the Radian Pro in here was to show differences in GPU thermals if you were to be using two GPUs in a build like this. I know it's quite mismatched, but at the same time, that's kind of the point. With these type of setups, it's good to use two different types of GPUs, especially for me, who's gonna be using this for testing because it's got so many by 16 PCIe slots, I can put any GPU I want and it's gonna run at full speed. For all the hardware used in this PC, there's a PC part picker list down below in the description and there's little cards on screen during the build section of the video that show what all of that is. People may have been confused that I used a 4090 and the Radeon Pro. As mentioned when I talked about the thermals, for me personally, I wanted to see what the thermals would be like with multiple GPUs and two different styles of GPUs and Believe it or not, this is not a very uncommon use case or an uncommon type of build if you were to be using a case and motherboard and CPU and all this kind of combo like what you're seeing in the video. So you might be asking yourself, why did you put three more fans in the middle of the case? Well, usually if you're installing a bunch of hard drives in this area here, you'd install that for extra airflow, but the case just looked really empty and I tested it without using that and with using it for thermals and it was exactly the same. So I just left it in for aesthetic purposes only. You don't have to put this back in, but yeah, it's completely up to you. I just thought it looked nicer being a little bit more filled out. And if you were to add drives for a build like this, you could, and then you'd have the airflow sorted without any issues whatsoever. What do I think about this new case from Fantex? Well, it's good. I mean, I don't have much to say about it. There's nothing that I hated about it. It's so massive that it's just so easy to build in. Cable management was fine. I didn't have any issues with anything whatsoever. I had some concerns that maybe the power supply cables, like the EPS cables wouldn't reach, but they reached no problem. And overall, I don't really have anything bad to say about the case. It's a really good, server case if that's what you wanted. The build quality of the Enthu 2 Pro Server Edition is really, really good as well. Classic fan text here, but you will notice that the side panels are a little bit thinner than you're used to seeing, and that's mainly to do with saving a bit of weight. All the internal brackets and that kind of stuff are thinner metal as well, but overall it's not going to impact the rigidity of this case. This case is designed for real workloads and it's designed to be tough. So you're not gonna have any issues with this case whatsoever. And like I said, building in it is probably one of the easiest cases you can build in. Even if you were to do a custom loop, there's just so much room for radiators and just everything that it's hard to say anything bad about this case because the thermals are good, building in it's good, the quality is good, and believe it or not, if you're interested in buying this thing, the price is also good. Because if you're interested in the Fantex Enthu Pro 2 Server Edition, they're going for around 159 US dollars or around $269 at the time of filming this video. Objectively, that sounds like a lot of money, but for what you can do with this case and its market, especially if you look at other server cases in this class of case, they are wildly more expensive than this. I would go as far as saying that the Fantex case is much better quality than a lot of the other server cases you're gonna find from other manufacturers out there on the market. So yeah. All right, here's the deal with this PC. I've been running Threadripper Pro for such a long time and with these new HEDT motherboards and CPUs from Intel, I wanted to see what the experience would be like editing on one of the new Intel CPUs. So I'm gonna be doing that for a little while, but that's not the end of it. I've got a video coming up where we're gonna compare this to my Threadripper Pro system, as well as compare it to a few other computers that I use, and I think the results might surprise you. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on to see all of that because I can guarantee you that's gonna be a very, very interesting piece of content. All right, ladies and gents, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. It's available by clicking that join button right down there down below. 
and subscribe. Please subscribe. Make sure you get notifications turned on for the other bit of content that I've got. It's not just one video. I've got like a whole stack of other things that I'm going to be doing with this because this is the first time I'm powering up a Sapphire Rapid system with this build. And now we've got a lot of other work to do to see what the story is with this platform. All right. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek. We seek. I'm very excited for this one. I've been waiting a long time for all of this hardware to rock up. All of the hardware for this took like six months to arrive and it's finally so good to be able to power it up and do a build with it because we've got a lot of exploring to do. Make sure you subscribe to see all that exploration.